Please rise. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Good morning, Sir Jacil. There will be an anime comic book club Wednesdays and Thursdays from 4 to 5 in room 507. Good morning, Citrus Hill. There will be a soccer club meeting from 3 to 4 in room 507 or 504, and it starts Monday next week. Good morning, Citrus Hill. There will be a BSU meeting for all boys in room 603. Get your lunch and go straight there. Hey, good morning, Hawks, and happy Monday. Hope you had a great weekend. I know I did. That time change helps, actually, so the fall, uh, the fall back, the extra hour was actually really great yesterday. I feel like a long day. However, it is going to get dark uh, sooner, so that, that is a bummer part about the uh, time change. But anyways, hopefully you had a great weekend. Hey, a lot of great things happening at uh, the Hill this week. we got theater that's performing both Wednesday and Thursday. We also have the art show, and the art show is just going to be displaying some artwork during the actual performance. So while you're there, you're going to be able to see some of the artwork that has been going on in both Ms. Pygott and Mr. Fournier's class. So once again, uh, come out to uh, support our theater. So that's Wednesday, Thursday night, along with checking out a lot of our great work that our students are doing. Hey, congratulations to our varsity football. Uh, they are into playoffs. So they were 9-1 and one this season. So good work to the football players, coaches. They did amazing work. Our first home game is, or our first playoff is a home game, and it's this Friday. Now, Friday is no school in observance of Veterans Day. So there is no school this Friday, but please come out and support our football team. So I know you get a day off, but that's a time to rest, sleep in, but then come out. Uh, we're not sure about kickoff time. Usually it's at 7, uh, but we have uh, Newberry High School that's coming out from Thousand Oak, Oaks. That's a far drive for them. Now it is a day off, so hopefully we'll still have kickoff at 7 o'clock, but if not, it's at 7.30. But come out and support our varsity football. Hey, grades are going to be due this week, so students, as you start to notice what your, where your grades are at, uh, that's just an indication of where you are when it comes to your learning. So like we've been talking about, if your grades are still not where they should be, you still have some, uh, some time to get them up before the semester's over because that's when it's, it. it's over. That's what goes on your transcript. So please make sure you utilize all the time necessary. A, when you're in class, do the work that you're supposed to. If you're struggling, that's why we have the sore time. And don't forget, students, go to the classes that your teachers are requesting you to go to. Okay, so make sure you go to those classes. You need to sign up. Remember, those who are not signing up, we're going to be collecting you and taking you to student dining and uh, having different activities, not necessarily fun activities, but activities to motivate you so that you're going to the sore time that you're supposed to go to. So let's have a great Monday. Let's have a great week. And now to Miss Allen. Morning, everybody. Happy Monday. Hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. I, I agree with Mr. Lazarga. That extra hour was great. I woke up excited to be back this morning. So uh, just a couple of things. One, um, a reminder about the lost and found. We find a lot of items out there while we're picking up trash after breakfast, nutrition, and lunch. Uh, and those items go up into the office in the SRO's office. But we collect so many that at the first of the month, we have to um, donate those items. Otherwise, we would have just an office full of clothes. So if you've lost something, please make sure that you go see Miss Tina in the intervention office. She can try to help you out with that because on the first of the month, we do um, get rid of those items and they'll no longer be available. Uh, please help us continue to pick up trash. Trash looked pretty good this morning. It wasn't so bad. So please keep helping us with that at nutrition and lunch. Make sure you're in class on time, and let's have a wonderful short week. Now over to Mr. Elder. Okay, good morning, Citrus Hill. A couple of announcements from the counseling office. Uh, this Thursday, we have our college workshop. It's the second one of the season. So please, bring your parents, bring your information, seniors. Uh, we're filling out FAFSA, doing college apps. So please bring all of your information. There will be flyers passed out today uh, so that you know what information you need to bring. Uh, so please come. It's from 3 to 7, um, and then you can head right over to the uh, theater uh, performance uh, right after that. So that's what's happening on Thursday. I know grades are due, so I know the counseling office is going to be, people are going to be coming in. I need to switch my class. Just because you have an F or a D does not, is not valid reason to change your class. 
you actually only have four weeks left in the semester, so if a schedule change had to happen, that should have happened months ago. Uh, so please make sure if you are struggling, you like store time, there's tutoring after school in Ms. Badilla's class 523 with her and Mr. Benavides for math and English. Uh, make sure that you are talking to your teachers during nutrition or making sure during class you are doing what you're supposed to be doing and you're utilizing store time going to the classes you need to go to. Instead of going to the class where you got an A, where you're like, oh, I'm good in this class, go to the one that you're struggling. Have that heart to heart with yourself and make sure that you are getting those grades up so that you're not coming to me. And also, after Thanksgiving break, we have the Northern California AVID Scholars Trip. So if you are in an AP class, that is not a valid reason to drop AP just because you want to go on a Northern California trip. Yeah, I know it's a lot of bad news today, but handle your business, get your grades up. Um, there's no reason to go on another California trip if you make yourself ineligible to go by dropping that AP class that could get you there. So it's kind of a catch-22. Uh, make sure you do what you're supposed to do. And over to Ms. Colvin for more announcements. Good morning, Citrus. Happy Monday. Uh, just a reminder, we do have the Healthy Kids survey going on. It's a, a California survey that the, our state uses to hand out resources. So I just want to remind everybody that we put some slips in teachers' boxes. If there's a slip with a student's name on it, that means that their parent has filled out the necessary permissions for them to do the, ra or to do the survey. And then collect that slip back and turn it into myself or Ms. Chavez because we are going to raffle off some items with those papers. So keep those papers, teachers. Um, but just a reminder, it's also a survey for staff and for parents. So um, they are anonymous and there are links to the surveys on our school website. The other thing I wanted to remind you about is if you did not take your midterms last week and your teacher is not going to allow you make, to make it up in class, then we will have a space after school for you um, today and tomorrow in student dining at three o'clock. If your teacher does allow you to make it up in class, that's okay too, um, but we do have a space available if that's not an option. Let's make it a great week and uh, have a great day. That's all, folks.